Hi everybody, my name is Nick Carey, the long-haired former baseball front office guy, uh, still out there seeking opportunities. But I am actually here in my historic um, town that I grew up in, in Missouri. So I wanted to post a video, I know I skipped last week, and I made a LinkedIn post about that, about how it's okay not to know what to say or to post sometimes, because it means you're just thinking a little bit harder, or sometimes you need that, that well-deserved rest. So this week I wanted to talk about the cultural craze of nostalgia and why we seek vintage things, why we seek things that are nostalgic or Americana to us and why that is a good thing. Because we seek these things out because they're something of comfort. Or they're things that inspire us. They're things that we've heard about from our parents or our grandparents or our bosses. And it can connect anywhere from throwback uniforms in baseball to the music industry and the boom in vinyl sales in the past couple years and people's love for things like Art Deco or 70s or 80s throwbacks now. And even today I was at an antique store and picked up some vintage books. Uh, one's back in print and one I don't think printed but one time so wanted to touch on that point and say that it is okay and it's amazing that we can look back on our past and take inspiration with throwback or faux uniforms in baseball or football any sport across the board and that it is great to seek comfort and inspiration from our past because we have to know our past to be able to reflect and project what we're going to do and what, we're, what we have in the future. So taking that opportunity here, visiting some family in the town that I grew up in in Missouri. So behind me, some uh, vintage railroad attire and some uh, materials there. And uh, so that connects to my story of how vintage or Americana or nostalgia can inspire you. In my first internship in baseball, an unpaid one with the college summer team, went to a railroad museum in the town I was working and noticed that there was a baseball team in the 1890s of railroad engineers and railroad workers and took that, spun that idea, redesigned that uniform, and it became one of the most profitable auctioned game uniforms that that team had had to that point. So a museum visit led to profitability for a team. And that was just a little taste of, I guess, what has come in people's love for nostalgia and finding comfort. And that is an amazing trend and I hope it continues. So I'm going to take my vintage books and enjoy them, but wanted to remind everybody as I always do, no one's perfect. Not everyone is in mint condition, but you are always valuable to someone for your very own reasons. Thanks and happy holidays.